The halfway point of the season has come and gone. Playtime is over. And assuming Jonathan Paredes lands up and down, gets on his feet, he will win the competition and he will also win the entire Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Winning the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series in 2017, making my dream come true. At 28 years of age, Jonathan Paredes has reached the pinnacle of his sport. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is unbelievable. But the story didn't end there. It had just begun. I feel pressure the whole time, and to retain the title, it will be a fight. My goal for 2018, be the champion again. It's August, halfway through the season, and the next few weeks will be an important time for Jonathan Paredes. So how does a champion recharge? By spending some time with a legend in Cali, Colombia, with Orlando Duque. He's been a legend since I have memory on high diving. You know, uh, when I started doing diving shows, he was already a legend. I remember to watch videos of him on YouTube. Now they are close friends. But Duque is also Paredes mentor as the first ever Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champion back in 2009. Duque has gone through everything Jonathan is facing right now. His advice and friendship are invaluable. I always see Orlando as a role model, you know, um, not just because of, of his diving career. Um, he's such a nice person. Uh, we've been sharing a lot. He's a really cool guy out of the competitions and during the competitions and I, I just really like this guy and he's, he's very important for me. Jonathan is turning 29, a little birthday party to take their minds off the sport, but not for too long. A few days later, Paredes and Duque return to Europe for the second part of the season. Stop five in Denmark. The cooler temperatures and gusty winds push Jonathan out of his comfort zone. And when the mind is not in tune with the body, Cliff diving is an incredibly challenging sport, even for a champion. I think I still learning a lot of things, you know, the way, the way to handle a competition, the way to stay calm during one event, the way to enjoy an event. The competition is strong. Steven Labou fires down the highest scoring dive in the history of the World Series. Jonathan needs a mental boost. I think Orlando is just trying to, to keep me calm, you know, like, Johnny, try to enjoy the competition. Uh, you are in a good way right now. You can't go farther than this, so just do your things and do a good dive, do a good competition, and it's going to work. So, and you don't have to be worried about it. Don't be worried about anything else. Just you and the platform and, and finish the competition. No score lower than eight and a half across four dives is impressive, but it's not enough to win here. Against this level of competition, he finishes a strong third, but the result is bittersweet. But yeah, you know, not happy at all. Back in Kali, back to basics. But this is no ordinary training session. It takes place under the watchful eye of Orlando Duque. The champion is learning from a legend. Being the champion is not the difficult part. Keep the championship is gonna be the, the difficult part, you know? Everybody is a human and everybody can do mistakes. And this is just part of the life and part of the sport. The penultimate stop of the season in Mostar sees Jonathan make an uncharacteristic mistake. The style master held the lead for two rounds, but dropped down in the standings after this dive. I was 100%, you know, uh, just before the competition, I was feeling really good. Uh, but of course, after you have a, 
not such a good dive so that keeps you down a little bit you know because you were doing a good competition and then a dive like that comes and then you struggle a little bit so it's very difficult to to keep focus and keep on the game you know after that Another disappointing dive in the final round, and Jonathan misses out on a vital podium in Bosnia and Herzegovina. All is not lost. The 29-year-old is still in third place overall, but he has felt better. From zero to 10 right now, after six events, I will say kinda, kinda six, seven. However, he has been in this position before with one stop to go. Episode five. Never surrender. For sure, I will. I will never give up to to be in the first place and and try to win the the last competition.